Well, technically it is the future, so... We should have flying cars by now. Hey, what's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP25 tracks. So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging. So it's your typical Masterpiece packaging. You got the robot mode, the vehicle mode, Transformers Masterpiece, right here you got tracks about the Pop a cap in somebody. Got a picture of the alt mode again. On the back of the box, we have your obligatory product. Shots does this, that, the other. All that cool stuff. Everything that comes in the box. And there is there is no sad Pac-Man on Masterpiece packaging. That makes me sad. That's it for the packaging. And you do get the obligatory Masterpiece collector's card right there. Nice piece of artwork, though. Looks cool. We have that. On the back, you have the bio if you want to read it. If you can read it, there you go. And text specs. And there you go. Hooray for cards. There you have that. So moving right along, here we have Masterpiece Tracks in his Corvette Stingray mode. And uh, I will say the vehicle mode is gorgeous. I mean, overall, this toy is kind of... And that's my professional opinion. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm not a professional, but hey... <laughs> but um still uh the vehicle mode is gorgeous i really love the vehicle mode it just it looks phenomenal getting close here um the, the the metallic blue they used on this is just i love it. it has that nice metal flake finish has a little sparkle to it it just it looks gorgeous simply gorgeous got the corvette logo right there picked out in silver got the nice flames right there on the hood looks nice and bold and beautiful love it i love it i love it Got the transparent windshield. You can see his, his head right in there. He does have some visible heads. And drum on the top of his head anyway. The gun does store in there. And uh, we'll get into that a little more uh, in a bit. Um, got the rims there. Picked out in silver back here. Again, got the Corvette logo. Picked out in silver. You got the tail lights done in red. Um, the underside. You can just see the wings in there. You can see his feet. But um, other than that, everything else is pretty well concealed. But yeah, very nice. He does roll. Nice and smooth-like. Um, he does have plastic tires, because Masterpiece Toys now do have plastic tires. <laughs> Which, again, I don't know anymore if that's a good or a bad thing, because people seem to complain either way. <laughs> but um, still, very, very nicely done. So we'll get down to some comparisons here. Here he is with Masterpiece Lambor, a.k.a. Sideswipes. You can see how he scales there. And... You can see, basically, the same size, lengthwise, as, uh, as Lambor. So they have, oops, I almost, I almost took the wrong one off the table again. I hate when that happens. And here he is with MP10 right there. And you can see how that works. I think that actually kind of works, scale-wise. Kind of, sort of. Eh, 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 eh. Works for me, anyway. Um, and here he is with the uh, Reveal the Shield tracks, which is coming apart. Right there, as you can see. Now he scales with his Re Reveal the Shield version. Actually, almost the same length, really. So that a little bit, a little bit longer than the Reveal the Shield version. And here he is with G1 tracks, causes pressure. Flying Carpenters. There you go. There he is with G1 trucks right there. And uh, yeah, so there you have that. There are some accessories that are included, and we'll run down those. You do get a little blaster right here in this boombox mode, and uh, some nice paintwork for being such a small piece. You can see how tiny this is, but some nice paintwork, even a little Autobot symbol right there. And, uh, yeah, very nicely done. Nice silver paint. Looks pretty cool. Little blaster. And this is basically meant to invoke that one episode of the cartoon, because that's what Takara does with their masterpiece figures, is, hey, let's reference something from one episode of the cartoon. And they do it every time. Hence, 
Raul! Yes, we have a little figure of Raul. Why? I don't know. Apparently there was some big demand for a Raul figure. I... I, I don't know why this exists. I really don't. I mean, yeah, why not? But still, why? <laughs> but getting close here. Um, they did not paint anything on his face. He has no eyes, which is kind of creepy. Um, I mean, nice paintwork otherwise. It was pretty cool. It was a little scrunchy in his headband, or even painted. It's nice. I mean, it's just a static figure. There's no articulation. Um, but yeah, Raul. This is going to look so, so good in the box in my closet because that's, that's where it's going to stay. But anyway, just for comparison, there he is with tracks. You can see, yeah, that works pretty well scale-wise in vehicle mode. So. There you have that. So, yay! Yeah, that's, that's going to look so beautiful in the closet. That's, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. You do get this little gun right here, which you can use in vehicle mode, but I think it's meant more for the uh, flying car mode. I think it's a simple piece, just black, some silver, right there. We'll get into this in a little bit. Um, the side view mirrors are a separate piece, and uh, I forgot to show that this is a, the the mirrors are actually uh, painted. They're done in silver, but still, you know, make it look like they're actually reflective, look nice. But yeah, the side view mirrors are separate pieces. They just slot right in, and you do get an extra set, just in case you happen to break those or lose them. They you do get some backups, which is nice. And they're just on little sprues, you just snip them off, and they just they just slot right in from the sides. So they have that. So nice that they give you backups. That's always appreciated to have spare parts. And you do get the flight stand here for flying car mode. You can see here's a nice Autobot symbol right there. It's just done in black. Um, the armature right here just pegs right on, right there. Just pegs right in. Very, very snug. So you do get rotation right here. You get a nice, nice ratchet joint right there. Really strong. And then you get a joint right here, and you get a joint right here. So you can get some good little poses out of this. And we'll get more into this in a little bit. So now let's get down to transformation and we'll transform him into his flying car mode and show off how that works. So first thing I do is gonna come back here and just kind of pull this back section apart here, untabbing it. If you want to untab the wings here, see tab in little tabs. Tab in right there. Take those wings, bring them up, untab all this and then just kind of bring it back like that. And then you're gonna take the arms right here and untab them. You can see just tab into each other. So you want to bring them out like that and then just fold them, oops, leave that part where it is. Fold them down like that and then rotate at the bicep swivel so it's painted details facing up. And just do the same thing over here, second first, same as the first, just bring that down, rotate that. And now you're going to take this armature here and how you want this oriented is you want to bring it down at this. Actually, before you do that, you want to pull these sections out. See our little pins here. Pull them out until they lock into place right there. And now you can bring the armature down at this hinge right here and then bring it up at this hinge. So that's the way you want that to look. And then you can take this tab right here and tab it into the slot right here on the side of the car. Let's take that, tab it in. Second verse, same as the first, just bring that down, bring that up, tab that into the side right there, there you have that. So then you want to take the wings and just bring them out, rotate them out to the sides like that, and then come in here and pull out these little white missiles, and these are one of the things that bug me on this toy. Come on, yeah, there we go. So bring those up, just like that for now. And then you just take this whole assembly and just put it back where it was. Snap that all back together, like that. And then you just bring the wings out. Oh, before you do that, actually, you want to uh, get there. Let me just pull this out again. It's easier this way. The little tail fins here, you just want to push them out from underneath. Right there. Bring those up. And we can put all this back together. Oops, that came undone. How dare you. How dare you. There we go. 
put all that back together. Now you can bring the wings out. You can take those little missiles here and just angle them forward. Add this hinge right here, just angle them forward. Like that. And there you go. There you have Trax in his flying car mode. And he, he yeah, that's a, that's 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 a flying car. Whee, flying car. <laughs> so there you have that. Now this is where you can bring the flight stand in. There is a port right there, and you can just take the flight stand, plug it right in. There you go. Flying car. Whee. And of course, you can use all the joints in there, angle it however you wish. You can have it, you know, you can even angle it sideways. You know, get some cool other poses here. Of course, you kind of have to counterbalance it with the stand to get it to work. But there you go. You kind of have something like that going on. So, there you go. It makes for a cool little display. If you want to display them in flying car mode, I can dig it. I can dig it. So, there you have that flying car. Yay! Where he's going, he don't need roads. Because he can fly, and there are no roads in the sky. Yeah, anyway. <laughs> so. Oh, and of course, the finishing touch here, I totally forgot, is the little gun right here. And um, you can see there are two, two little tabs right there on the top piece. There are two little slots. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there are two little slots right up here on this top piece. So you just take that and tab that right in there, push it in, and there you go. And that just completes the look right there. So yay, flying car with some missiles that love to not stay in place. And a little gun right there in the front. Whoosh. Sorry. So anyway, let's get down to robot mode. So we'll just push these back down, remove that, put that off to the side. Untab the arms right here. Take this whole backpack again and bring it out like that. And then you want to rotate this whole back section here 180 like that. And then you want to take this whole rear section here and rotate this around like that. And then bring these missiles out to the side on this hinge. Like that. And this is another piece that bugs me, but again, we'll get into that a little bit later. So this armature here for the arms, you do just want to straighten all that back out. And then bring them up like that. And there you have that. So now you want to take this section right here with the windshield. You want to take it. It's on a double hinge. And you want to bring it up. And this is where the gun stores right here. And you can see they're there's a slot on either side, so you can store it however you want. Just tabs in right there, and there's your storage. You can store blaster in here also, but the thing is, is you can only store one or the other. You can't store both. Um, so you can't store blaster in here. You can see on the back of blaster, there's this little, this little tab, little tab right there, and there's a little groove right here. So you can take blaster and just slot him in there. And do I have that in? Yeah, there you go. Oh, what you saying? There you go. And blaster stores right there. And like I said, unfortunately, you cannot store both in there. I haven't figured out any way to kind of wedge them both in here because the head takes up a lot of room there. So if there is a way to store both, I don't know. I mean, I'm just going by what the instructions are saying. And uh, yeah, as far as I know, you can only store one or the other. You can't store both. But anyway, take the gun out, put that off to the side. And blaster back out. Put him off the side because we're not going to need him anymore. So you want to bring this piece halfway up, halfway only, because you need the clearance here to flip out the head. And you want to pull it all the way up until it clicks into place right there. Bring it the rest of the way up, and there are tabs right here that will tab into the slots right here. So tab that on, and honestly, this does not tab in that securely, at least on my copy of the toy. But there you have that. Um, for the hands, just want to take this panel, bring it down, rotate it so it's like that, and then swing this around, and you'll see this will then fill in that groove right there. 
and also bring out the hand, which is a very neat little piece of engineering there. So bring that down, rotate it, and then swing this all around like that. And now you got the arms all done. So now you want to take the doors, you want to bring it out, and then flip this panel out like that. The same thing on this side, bring that out, flip that out. And then you want to bring them up, and there are tabs. These tabs right here will tab into the slots right there. So you want to bring that up, and then just tab that in right there. Tab that in right there. Like that. Now for the backpack, there are slots on either side right here, and they're going to go into... I mean, uh, tabs on either side, and they're going to go into these slots right here. So you want to get in one side, right there, and then one thing that bugs me is you do have to kind of flex the plastic a bit to swing this around so you can get that in there. And after you do that, you just want to kind of squeeze them in a little bit to make sure they stay nice and snug. And then you got the backpack all done. And the backpack is definitely something that bugs me. But again, we'll get more into the things that bug me. <laughs> in a little bit. So once you have that done, you're going to rotate him at the waist. You're going to split the legs right here. You're going to take this whole side assembly right here and you're going to pull this out like that. You can see that comes out. You want to take the uh, the hood right here. Oh, I totally forgot to show off one thing in vehicle mode here is you can't open up the hood. Clip this back together. You can't open up the hood and there is an engine in there. Which is done in silver. Some nice details. Looks pretty cool. I don't know how much it looks like a real engine. But then again, he is an alien space robot. So, yeah. <laughs> so anyway. Split the legs. You want to take the hood. And it's on a double hinge. You just want to take that and bring it down like that. Because that will free up the knee joint right there. So now you want to bring that out. And then swing this down. As you're swinging this down, you want to bring the foot out. Which is on its own armature right here. And you'll see there's a tab right here that'll go into the slot right here. So you just want to push that up until it goes into that tab right there. Bring that down. Don't push it back in yet because first thing you want to do is you want to take this panel right here. Swing it down like that and then bring it out to the side like that. And then you're going to take this bit right here and rotate that down. And then once you do that, then you can push this in and then you can swing this down the rest of the way. You can straighten out his leg too. And then that will just tab in right there. And there you got a leg all done. Second verse, same as the first. First thing you really want to do is take this and bring that down. That's the first thing you should do. I just did it backwards. Then you want to bring this out. And then bring this down. Bring this out. Tab that in. He just he kicked the camera. He just he just he did that. He he did that. <laughs> <laughs> he's rebelling he's raging against the machine anyway bring that down and bring that over halfway and then flip this down like that and when i first got this toy like these panels right here were like super like stupid tight but luckily over time over uh, a couple transformations they have loosened up on me so just something to note there push that back in and then you can swing this back around Tap that into place, straighten his leg out there. There you have that. And I think we are pretty much done. The last thing we have to do here is just take this panel and whoop, flip it around, revealing his Autobot symbol. And so there you go. I think we're done. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Whee! We're done. So there he is. There's Masterpiece Tracks. In his robot mode. mode. Mm. Robot mode. <laughs> now, robot mode looks good, I will say. Um, we'll get in close here on the head sculpt. Nice head sculpt. Got his signature red face right there. He's always just extremely embarrassed for some reason. I don't know why, but hey. Looks good. Um, yeah, I mean... All around, I mean, he, he, he looks like Trax. I mean, you can't deny it. He looks like Trax. Um, 
Very, very, very nice. Now, articulation-wise, his head is on the ball joints. So we can get some good wiggly, waggly movement. He can actually look up a fair amount. He can totally do squirrel. You know, he can totally do that. He can actually look down. And due to the way this panel works, which is honestly something that bugs me, but it does allow you to even get you to look down over his chest, which leads to my personal favorite pose, which if you follow me on Twitter, you saw this already, but... I totally just thought this was hilarious that I could actually do this, and I don't know if I could do this on this table, but we'll try, and you can actually get them balanced in this position, which is kind of crazy. And the payoff for this is going to be so not worth it, but I don't care. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it anyway. I can't do it. <laughs> there is no payoff whatsoever for this. You're probably not even going to laugh at this joke, but there you go. You can totally do, oh man, I stuffed in gum! I know, it wasn't worth it. I know, I know, I know. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. I thought it was funny. But anyway. But anyway, back to articulation. Again, lots of movement in the head. You can get him looking down over his chest. Uh, the arms can do a full 360, but of course the wings do get in the way, and the wings are a bit of an annoyance. You can swing them up. You can swing them back, which is kind of a necessity. Um, again, totally up to you how you would position those. You do get inward and outward movement. You do get a swivel, a bicep swivel. You get a ratcheted elbow right there with eh, slightly under 90 degrees of movement. There, you do get a wrist swivel. The hands do open and close. You do get waist rotation. You even do get like a little bit of an ab crunch here. There's a joint here. So you can kind of move back and forward a little bit at that joint. Uh, legs can go forward, and this panel right here will move out of the way to accommodate. So legs can go forward all the way. They can go back only that much. Inward and outward, you do get a thigh swivel. Ratcheted knee joint width. Slightly under 90 degrees of bend there. Uh, the feet can move up. They can move down. They do have a nice full tilted shear in either direction. So, he is pretty poseable. So, there you have that. So, now let's get down to some of the things that bug me about this toy. <laughs> One thing that bugs me in general is just the backpack. The backpack is not entirely solid. Um, and as you can see, just from me moving him around, I have already untabbed this chest piece from his shoulders. Because on my copy of the toy, anyway, this does not stay tabbed in securely. Now when you're trying to tab this back into place, do not push on the backpack. Don't squeeze him like this because if you do that, oh, all this is going to come undone and collapse and everything will just explode in your hands. And that's not fun. And then you have to take this and re-tab all this into place and squeeze this back together. And if you squeeze this a little too tight, then these panels right here, like this one just did, will come undone. And that is a major, major annoyance. Um, the wings are a bit of an annoyance, too, because just where they sit, um, they they bump into his shoulders. You have to have them angled back, because that's the only way his shoulders will sit flush there. Um, if you have them angled, you know, straight, as you think they should be, they end up kind of pushing his shoulders forward. And that kind of bugs me. And there are these grooves in here which seem like they are meant to accommodate the shoulders, but then you have to have the wings pointed all the way up like that, and that looks dumb. So, yeah, this this whole backpack just kind of bugs me. And again, you can't, you can't actually have this sitting straight up. You have to have this angled back for it to really work the way it's supposed to, I guess. So that just, I don't know, that, that, just, that just bugs me. It just doesn't, it's not as solid as I would like. I mean, I don't care about the gaps. It's not the gaps that bother me. It's just structurally, it's not, you know, it's not structurally stable. Um, this little bit up here above his head uh, bugs me also because I really wish that these little missiles, like these bits right here, I wish they tabbed into this section. Because then when you're trying to move things around, like, they move independently. So if I want to move this down, I have to make sure I'm holding on to these pieces to bring this down. If I want to rotate these missiles up, oh, no, nope, that's going to go with it. So now I have to hold this down so I can move this up. And it's, it, I don't know, it, it just, it bugs me. It, it does bug me. <laughs> 
Um, the, the little uh, panel that his head sits on also bugs me, because if you don't click it up all the way, then it's easy to just kind of knock his head back. If you do bring it up all the way where it clicks into place like it's supposed to, it still can move forward now. I mean, granted, it leads to some funny little, you know, he's looking like, what the, what the? you know, you can do that. But still, I wish this just locked to where, you know, I can move the head without moving that whole panel with it. I wish it just locked solid. That bothers me. Now, another thing that I'm sure is just my copy of the toy, you probably won't have this problem, is that this little plate right here is kind of loose. For some reason, it's nice and snug when the blue is facing outward, but when I flip it over to the Autobot symbol, for some reason, it just it gets all loosey-goosey. I, I don't know why. So, <laughs> I, I don't understand, but... Again, that that could just be my copy of the toy. Your mileage may vary, so. It does some little things that bug me. I mean, like, and again, like, this just, it doesn't stay tabbed in properly. And it could be just a case that I'm just doing something wrong. I don't know. I mean, I transformed it the way the instructions said to transform it, so. I don't know. I don't know if it's just kind of, you know, individual tolerance thing, or it's just, I, I don't know. That's just the main things that, that, that bugged me about this figure. But anyway, you can't hold his gun, and here it is. We'll take a closer look at his gun here. Nicely done. Nice silver. Some nice detail right there. It's pretty cute. And this works like all the other Masterpiece weapons. you got the tabs on either side, so you can hold it in his left or his right hand. And you just take it, plug it into his hand right there. Get that tab into the slot in his palm. Close his hand back up. And now he's holding his gun. Pew, pew, bang, bang. Right there. Um, he can't actually hold blaster. It would have been cool if he could, if he could actually get his fingers in there so he could hold blaster. He can't. He can't hold blaster. But, yeah. It's all right. It's all right. But there you have that. And, of course, uh, you can use the flight stand with him if you want. If you kind of straighten this all out because that port is still accessible. So you can plug him onto the stand. If you wish, I mean, granted, it doesn't really hold him that far up off the ground, so flying poses are kind of not really possible. The, the best thing I could do was kind of get him into this kind of, you know, flying, shooting, matrixy kind of pose here. I think I posted this picture on Twitter. You kind of get that going on. That looks pretty cool. If you want some action poses, that works. So, you can do that. I mean, you, know, you can just use it as a base itself. I mean, if you just kind of rearrange how this uh, how this sits, I mean, you can't have them standing flush on the base itself. Just all a matter of how you work those joints in there. And I might not spend too much time working these joints here. Just to show that off. But there you go. You can't have them standing solidly on the base if you want. But as far as for like you know flying poses in robot mode it's it's not quite tall enough but you can still get some some little posability out of it some cool some cool display options there so there you have that we'll just get him situated here hopefully nothing came undone oh no of course of course stuff, stuff came undone of course stuff came undone there we go you stay tabbed in you stay tabbed in keep your head back there you go. Now, for comparison, here he is with Masterpiece Lambor. You can see he's a little bit taller at the head than Masterpiece Lambor. Right there, here he is with MP10. You can see how he scales there. There you have that. Um, here he is with Transistor. You can see how they look together. Just for the reference there. Since they include a little blaster with him. Uh, some Decepticons. There he is with Starscream. Right there. We'll bring in Soundwave too. There he is with Soundwave. There you have that. And here he is with the Reveal the Shield tracks. You can see quite a bit taller. 
And here he is with little G1 tracks. Cause it's precious. Mine doesn't like to stand because he's too precious. Mine has a bum leg. So there you go. <laughs> with G1 tracks. And there you have that. So yeah. Um, as far as Masterpiece tracks goes, um, he, he's just okay for me. I mean, he just, he does some things that bug me. He just, he just doesn't feel as, as solid as I feel a Masterpiece figure should. Like, the way this whole backpack works, or doesn't really work, it just, it bugs me a lot. Um, I don't know. It's... You know, I, I, I would love to sit here and say, oh, Takara knocked it out of the park again, but eh, th they got a runner on third, but I just couldn't bring him home, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. Like like I said, um, the vehicle mode is gorgeous. I love his vehicle mode. I mean, the paintwork on him is just superb. I mean, definitely not knocking that, but just the way this whole backpack section works, it just really, really bugs me, and I just wish some things locked in better, like this chest panel again. Could just be mine, but it still bugs me. This panel, I wish, just locked in in just a solid way to where it just didn't move either way. And I could just move the head without having to move this panel around. Um, you know, it just a, a lot of just a lot of things on his upper body just bug me. The legs are fine, just the upper body just has things that bug me. Again, I had this stupid loose panel, but again, that's probably just my copy of the toy. But um, yeah, I mean. Like I said, um, he's not a home run, you know, solid third base hit, but not, not a home run as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah, there you have it. There you have Masterpiece Tracks. So if you would like a Masterpiece Tracks of your own, you can always check out BigBadToyStore.com for availability. There will be a link in the description down below, so check that out. And you can also check out my Masterpiece Playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below, so check that out as well. And I think that's it, so don't forget to check out M Games, check out Lori Plan, follow me on Twitter, all of that good stuff down in the description below, and I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So, there is the Takara Transformers Masterpiece MP25 Masterpiece Tracks, and this is MGO saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old, you grow old because you stop playing. Be geek, be proud, palm in your face! <laughs> Seriously, if I have to deal with these Decepticons one more time, I'm gonna... Hey! What the? Oh! Oh, man, I did it again. Cracks, what did I tell you about watching where you step? They're fragile.